Hello there fellow YouTubers and Shift Geeks alike, this is Commodore Urban and welcome to part 3 of my SS United States collection. See I told you Jacob, there probably would be a part 3. I don't know, let's hope we maybe end it, but maybe not, I don't know. Let's get started. Alright, as we were left here, there's still a ton of shit in this box. So I'm going to kind of hurry and go through some of it. Okay, this is a flag. This is actually an original dinner table flag that would have sat on one of the tables of the United States. There's multiple ones, but this is a miniature version of the house flag. If I can unfurl it so you can see it. See? Pretty nice. And it has this little base on here. This is not the this is not an original base that would have came with it. This is something the guy made to display it, which is nice. I paid five bucks for that. So, um, I have an original spoon from the ship. This is actually a cruise spoon. This is not passenger silver. The passenger silver was a lot fancier. This is simple. And on the other side, it says United States Lines. And it was made by the Atlas Stainless Company in USA. So, yeah. Really nice piece. That was given to me. Just like this was given to me. This is an original book of matches. And it says United States Lines on the top and on the side. And on this side it says SS United States, SS America, tuned from all Europe, made in USA, contains 20 matches, and it was made by the Diamond Match Company in Springfield, Massachusetts. And some of the matches have been used. If I can open it. See? Some of the matches are gone, but I wasn't expecting all the matches to be there, so it's pretty cool it was given to me, so um let's see here. Oh we got a big stack of stuff right here. We got a big stack of stuff right here. Let's go through this. These are postcards. This first postcard is a very special postcard because it's a original promo image of the United States. This is actually one of the very few promo images of the ship before she even was built. And on the back side is what really makes it special. That image. It says SS United States maiden voyage from New York, July 1952 to Harv in Southampton. This was mailed off the ship on her maiden voyage. So this is a very, very special postcard to me because this came from the maiden voyage. Very, very special. Very special piece in my collection. Another postcard of the United States being undocked out of New York with a Moran tug and that's the back of the postcard. This was never used. Um, I have a couple of these. They're the same postcard. They've got the same image of the ship and they basically are the same thing on the back sides of them. See? Pretty nice. Now, you don't think I'm crazy here, but I have one, two, three, four. I have four of this postcard. See? I have four of these. And they're all the same thing besides this one. This one's the only different one because it's been sent. And there's even the United States' post office mark right there. Sea Post SS United States. So this is very cool. I tried reading that chicken scratch, but it's hard as fuck to read. So, let me show you some other postcards I've got. Uh, I've got two of these. Yeah, I know, I've got duplicates of all kinds of them. These are photograph postcards. These are nice. See? These are nice postcards, see? Yeah, see? Those are nice. Um, I have one of these. This is kind of a harder one to find. This is just a miniature version of the travel agent's picture I have. And on the back it's got some information about the ship. I paid about eight bucks for this, so it was kind of a pricey card. And this one has a photographic postcard of her out at sea. And on the back side, 
It's got some information. This is from the After the Battle series, which was pretty cool. I paid uh, three bucks for it, and it came from Europe. And this is a uh, sewing kit, and it's got the United States on it, which is really, really, really cool. And I think it opens up like this. Yeah. So you see, we've got some needles. It, a lot of it's gone, but there's still a bunch of needles in here. And I don't want to touch them because I I hate needles. I hate sharp, pointy things. So, on this, this is a napkin, an original napkin from the ship. I put it in some plastic so I keep it from getting stained up. But you can see it's got the United States Lens logo with the eagle with the you know the olive branch and the arrows. That's the company logo. Really, really, really cool. Uh, let's see here. Here's some more napkins. These are some bigger ones. They're still paper though, but I got them in this little folder taped up so they don't get dirty. See, this says United States Lines, and it has the eagle again with the, the branches. Big, big, big paper napkins. I don't know where I got these from. I think I might have bought them. I think they might have been part of a lot of stuff. I don't know. And there is a bunch more stuff in here. And there, these is something really, really cool. These are paint chips. Yes, these are paint chips from the United States. The little silver one is from the radar mast. The black one is from the hull, and the red and the blue one are from the one of the stacks. And I have here a little thing to read. It says, Alan, enclosed in a CD case are a few paint chips from the SSUS. The blue chip is from the top of one of her stacks. The red chip is from the red portion of one of her stacks. The black one is from the hull, and the small silver one is from the radar mast. You can now say that you want a part of the SS United States. Enjoy. And then my friend's name down there. I, this was a surprise. He mailed this to me when I got this. I was like, holy shit. So, yes, I keep them in the CD case to protect them so they don't get broke. At one time, you can actually look at them. I, at one time, if you flip over those bigger chips, you can see the nasty, ugly, yellow-green primer that they used on the smokestacks. Nasty fucking color. Nasty fucking color. Alright, now we're getting down to some of the really, really good shit now. Um, some of my favorite shit right here. Deck plans. These are miniature deck plans of the United States. Which, if I can explain to you, it's just basically... I can't unfold all of them and show them to you because it'd be harder than fuck. But basically, I just showed you all the different levels of the ship and the cabins. This particular style, this was 1960s. Because, see, the gross tonnage is 51,821. If it was an earlier one, it would have been 53,330 or 329. This is a very good one. I paid 15 bucks for that one. I do remember that. This one's an earlier one. Yeah, this is an earlier one. Also 60s. See, it, the, the artwork's a little bit different. Stack and stuff was. And this one's been written in. See? This one's been all written in and stuff. So whoever had this, they traveled on the United States and they used this on board. See, the gross tonnage on this one is 51,988. And it's the part of the famous picture of her and the America, but the America has been omitted out of the picture. And I've got two early deck plans of her. These are the same deck plan. This one on this side, my friend gave me. This one was part of a lot that I bought. Um, this one says 51, 53,330 gross tons. So see, new SS United States. See? pretty nice but this one here is a little bit more see this one's a bit more stained up and it looks like the papers deteriorate on that one some so you know these are nice though these are very nice uh, this is a cabin class deck plan from the United States this is mid 1950s what's really cool about this one this one came from a travel agency that was in Terre Haute Indiana 
I'm like an hour or so away from Terre Haute, so it's pretty cool. See, world's fastest liner. What's really cool about this one is the fact that this one's kind of like a book. See, this one's almost like a book. I, I can't really open all of it, but I'll try to open some of it for you guys. Um, see, you can see it. It's, it's a lot bigger than the other ones, but it only shows certain parts of the ship, so... And I also have a tourist class deck plan. This is a later one. This is probably about mid late fifties. Open it up. See? And it has the picture of the ship on it. And it's just like the other one. Except this is for tourist class. The only one I'm missing now is a first class one, but those are like twenty twenty five to thirty five bucks. They're pretty pricey for first class ones. But there are two different variations. There was first cabin and tourist that had this picture of the ship, and first cabin and tourist that had this one. So I'd have to get first and tourist for that, and first and cabin for that one. And here is a cruise deck plan for when the United States went in cruising. And this was painted in just monotone colors. You can see this is when she went out cruising with a one class ship. This is very cool. These are actually very hard to come by. Very, very, very hard to come by. And I paid um, 10 bucks. These normally go for about 30, so I, did, I got a pretty good deal on that. And this is one of my favorite brochures here. It's called Let's Look Inside the World's Fastest Luxury Liner in the United States. This is really cool. I love this brochure. Because, um, let me put the camera down for a moment. Oh, sorry. Uh, this one I really like. This is a cutaway of the ship. I love this. This I really, really, really love. I love this cutaway. So this is a very, very cool, you know, brochure. See? Very cool brochure. But this is a passenger affairs booklet for 1969. This is the final year the United States was in service. And there ain't really much in here. It's just basically a bunch of, um, you know, a bunch of informational jargon and stuff. But since it was 1969, the final year she was in service, I bought it. I paid mm, maybe 12 bucks. I think I paid for that. And this other one, I, this one was a gift. And it's from January 1952. And it was passenger fares for both the United States and the America. If I open it up, it actually shows you the United States and the America, which is really cool. Um, let's, tr let's see. Well, I'm going to show you one more thing before I end this video here. This is a European tour thing, and I got this with a lot of stuff. And it doesn't really have nothing much to do with the United States except right here. Sail from New York on the luxurious SS United States. And that's basically about it. So I thought, eh, I'll keep it with it. So pretty cool, though, because I love this vintage artwork and stuff. It really just tells you, like, the late 50s and early 60s. And there's some really cool pictures and shit in there, too. So really, really cool shit. So, yeah, I'm going to end this video. Sorry, guys. I, I guess I had more shit than what I thought, so... Uh, I guess there's going to be a part four, so stay tuned for it. Peace.